All right. So there's no more discussion. We're going to vote on the, the motion. Dave, you want to read it again? So the motion that was made would be to provide uh, Chief Galaska with a notice of termination, which would be effective on 11.59 p.m. on April 3rd, 2024. And he would be on leave with pay until that <clears throat> time in order to allow him uh, the opportunity to provide a response pursuant to section 166.0494 Florida statute. All right. And at that time, if something were to change, could it change at that point? Whoever's on the prevailing side can always make a motion to reconsider at the same or the next meeting. All right, call the roll. Commissioner Caggiano? No. Commissioner Simone? Yes. Commissioner Serio? Yes. Vice Mayor Schwartz. Does maybe count? This is a tough one, all in. Trust me, I've taken aspirin. To wind up on the prevailing side, I'm going to say no. That's a lame answer. No, because I want to see. I'm, I'm, no means not to get rid of me. I understand that, but, but the reason you gave it's. No, I've, I've read my reasons and I would like to see something change. And I would like to give him an opportunity to see if he can work with the union and do that. But if that doesn't happen, then I'm going to bring it back. And that is, that's not a lame answer. That's the truth. If it doesn't work. What's your then, vote, Tommy? And the answer no. is I'm going to bring it back. Hold on. Just call your name. All right. So, no. so we got. Right, so motion fails three to two. Okay. And then the next motion. Um, Pauline, do you want me to make the motion? Go ahead. All right, let me get my I, I have a question before you make the motion. Go for it. Do we want to talk about the recommendations of looking at other issues in the department so that we can set, because clearly there's going to be a punishment, mm -hmm. probably some type of probationary period. Mm -hmm. But in order to set those metrics, we need to know fully what's going on. And there were other issues that were brought up that I'm not bringing them up to because I can't call it back. I'm not on the prevailing side, but at least so that we can set based on the findings, set goals and parameters so that in okay. six months from now, we can say, okay, look, we looked at this. This is what the investigator found, recommended. We agreed, disagreed, set these parameters, and now so we have something to, yeah. to I don't, touch him about. All right. It's number one, it's seven months. And, because uh, I'm going to make the motion that he is suspended for one month without pay. And then when he comes back, he has six months. How about we do the investigation after the seven months? No. So, you the yeah, no, we I, gotta, no, we I, should. I, so, so, so you're asking for an investigation to be going on while the man's suspended. See, I and a, back, and back. It, and can, can back. I make a recommendation? We find somebody new to investigate it? Of course, I don't have a problem with. I have. A, I don't have a problem with any outside investigator. Okay, oh, I, I would okay, like to see somebody new investigate it, and the commission actually interview them and talk to them and do the investigation. I, I definitely, I definitely want an investigation. I, I definitely no want problem. it from outside. I have a no problem with an outside investigator, um, and a different one. That's fine. No offense. Um, and I, I actually agree with you in that I don't think he should be suspended where he's not here in the office because like you have a good point I mean if you're giving him six months and he's suspended for a month to whatever it is then how could he justifiably make the you know given a shot to make the changes so I would like to see something where he wants to his say. his where his pay is maybe he he comes to work but his pay is you know he, he loses a month's pay and then maybe there's a 25% reduction in his pay during this six month period. So, but, but the point that I'm trying to make is that he's not at home. He's still here. He's able to give, given the opportunity to make the changes. If you. So I think drastic pay reductions <clears throat> temporarily, but still is here in the office. You don't think one twelfth of your salary being gone is enough? Can I give a recommendation? But basically, uh, our our past practice for people that get suspended is the first two days you don't get paid, and then you can dock 
the rest of it from my annual time. People take your time. You take my time away for the month. So all that time that I have worth of money is taken away, but I'm still here to work. That sounds. I don't know, we're going to oh, see if that's do it. David, is that? Uh, we'll, let so, David, we'll let David, I, I, so the, I don't have a problem with that. If I know David, we, we have a contract with the chief, we being the city. So if you're going to adjust the pay, then you'd need to amend the contract for, to reflect whatever that is going right, to be. But if, if we do it the way the chief is saying, we wouldn't have to change the contract, correct? You know, you still would. Oh. But even if you amend the contract, doesn't the contract say both parties have to agree to it? Well, that's part of the resolution that you're talking well, if about. If he doesn't tonight. agree to it, then you well, change as, as far well as about as far as seconds. If if he doesn't agree to it, then that's a whole other story. Oh, but, yeah. Look, yeah. if he doesn't agree to it, I, I'm going to change my vote. Let me go back to something. It, it, this, is, or, this is or, not, this or is the another reason. option potential is to use agree, use leave vote. time. That's but, what I said. Is you yeah, could talk to leave time for could use leave time, and that would avoid having to do that. But what's the value on that? Because Whatever if we, like if we get rate. sued and we got to pay money. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to get into hypotheticals because each potential lawsuit, who knows? And so facts and circumstances and everything. So you can't, you can't play, you know, that type of game when you're dealing with what you have here today. So let me ask you this. If he wanted to make changes next few days, would he be able to? If changes he as far as? Staff. Well, that's it's all subject to union contracts and you know all those other things as well. Union so, contracts, to the extent that the employees uh, covered, subject, by the covered by a union contract and they have certain rights. I'm talking about contract. we were talking about a major before. If he wanted to make a change to a major, he, you can. That's I think it's in the contract right. that a major can be demoted, but he would have to go. He doesn't right. get fired. Right. He returns Goes back, back to Correct. lieutenant. I guess it is. Correct. I don't know the order of the ranks, guys. Right. I'm sorry. Lieutenant. Right. Lieutenant. So that's okay. that's up to him. Okay. If I, you know, so he'd still be able to conduct business, everyday business, being suspended. No, if he's suspended, well, he would be away from the department. Suspended. So what's the word you want to use, Antonio? Because I, I, a, pay, I a, a, a significant, um, no, 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 tempor a temporarily significant temporary reduction, pay reduction in his salary. In his salary. Uh, okay. Well, can you? Would you? Because take that to me, it, to, to me, a suspension is. Your home. No, no, I, under, okay, I don't want to. I understand what you're saying. It in a bad way, but it's almost like home on vacation. You, you want but the mayor working. has a good point, though. If we're gonna tell, give him parameters and six months to correct it, it doesn't make sense for him to be home for a month. Well, then let's get the correct wording. Maybe David so, can help us with the correct wording. But I agree. I understand what you're saying. I, I mean, believe to it's me, in the to, union to contract. Me, I, 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 well, what's I, the wording? I, if I may, what's I'm it not, called? What you're referring to a temporary reduction in salary? Correct. So I, I'm not making a motion. I'm just throwing out for discussion. I would say a one month suspension of pay. Okay. And then a 25. But that's not what he's saying. He's asking to use accumulated time. That's like telling a kid they can't watch TV and then saying, but I've accumulated 400 hours. Can I use them instead? Where's the, uh, Where's the discipline part then? You know what? If you well, if he's not getting paid for a month and then paid. and then he, no, but he's not asking not to get paid. He's asking to have that taken off. Yeah, well, that's what he's asking. But, but, that, but I'm saying something different. Still what do you say? As the commission, well, what it's, I'm suggesting it's later is, money, not current money. I'm I'm suggesting it's be one month of no pay and a 25 percent reduction in salary until the six months is up. Can you ask somebody to come to work for a month without pay? No. Well, I'm asking the attorney. Does that exist in any world? I got a question. Uh, I, hold on, hold wait. on, one person, one person. We're dying for the answer. I, I think that you would end up doing is just doing an overall adjustment to his salary, you know, commencing on a certain date, because I don't think that you can have somebody right. do work for the city and not receive a salary. Right. Okay. Okay, a, so a 75% reduction for one month and then a 25% reduction for the remaining five months until we, we review again. I, I but he still comes into work. We, we, had, we had a officer who I felt was wrongly, very wrongly treated uh, for picking up a child and moving him out of a lunchroom and had a month pay from his pay. Agree with you. How was how was that work? Did he, was that person home for a month? No. Were they working but had the money 
that way. It's two days that they get unpaid, usually from the union contract. There's two days you serve a suspension unpaid, and then the rest of the time they deduct your annual pay or whatever accumulated time pay that you have, so you lose the money that's accumulated in your bank of time. But with I that, have no with understanding the, wait, of what he just said. I, I've never a union guy, <laughs> so I need some help with this. But, um, I have my law partner, Caroline Size, has been patiently waiting in the back. I know, Caroline, if you want to come up and possibly help with answering these questions. I, I don't know. What, banks of time. Banks of time. <laughs> and thank you, Caroline. Good evening, Commissioners. Caroline Size. Um, yes, if you're serving a suspension, you can serve it time unpaid, or you could have it taken from your leave bank. So you report to work, and that um, amount of suspension time is just taken from your leave bank. So ultimately, when you separate from employment, you're not paid for that amount. That's where the suspension part comes in. Okay. Um, they clear. It's still a hit. <laughs> Yeah, it's still a hit. I know, Caroline, if you want to talk about the adjustment in the salary and how that might work similarly or with the leave, something like that with the chief and his contract. Well, right. I mean, that would have to be a new um, employment. He has his employment agreement, so that would have to be renegotiated with him. I don't know if you've conducted the evaluations um, or if that's up soon where, where that adjustment could be made at that time. I mean, but why, why wait for an evaluation? We have misconduct. It didn't go particularly my way, but this is where we're at now. And I'm not saying so you have to wait for the evaluation. If I, I don't know if you've done it yet, you can call for an evaluation and then make an adjustment at that point. Um, I think it's yeah. No, I think the idea would be to, you know, upon a certain date, you know, that the salary would be reduced by 75% for the first month and then 25% for the remaining five months, and at the end of the six month period, you would conduct an evaluation. Uh, That's what I, I've heard so far. I am correct. And I if am, everything's I, great, he gets <laughs> everything back. And if it's not, then it's our Commissioner Schwartz just said bye bye. I'll go with that. I Listen, just, Joe, I'm I, sorry. You put those bullets in the gun and shot yourself with them. This is going to have to. Make you and everyone else know that you can't do this. It's not acceptable behavior. And, and I was taking notes earlier, uh, if I might, Mr. Mayor, um, just regarding what uh, I think Commissioner Kajiana said, there was also comments related to uh, training in person. Oh, absolutely, training. in person. We just did an, an ethics diversity thing, not and it was on the computer where you just sit there and you just push buttons. Uh, I, no, no, in this case, it's got to be- Not just him. That's for no, no, I said for, I, I wrote department wide okay. All right, I missed in that. person I missed diversity that. training. Okay, I missed in that. In person. Guys, we're going to have to start. We're going to have to put a new wheel together. So uh, obviously, if people are writing texts uh, at any time, they're not paying attention to their training. So we need to get people to pay attention to their training because it's uh it's in the code so let's get people to understand that this can't be happening uh, what i'd also say is um we can let's put together what we what antonio i believe is saying because i agree with him i agree uh with with commission uh, vice mayor schwartz uh, and we give the chief an opportunity to agree to accept or to not. And if he doesn't accept, I would call a meeting the next day and then pay him his money and then he goes. He either agrees. He made this bet, he's got to lay in it. He either agrees or he doesn't agree. And if he doesn't agree, it's thank you for being here. I, I have heard that prior to your the last year's the person prior to you, that chiefs prior to them might not have been liked, but they were respected. They understood what was expected of them. They understood the rules of the game. You have been described as too touchy-feely. I'm going to suggest that in this amount of time, if it means you have to learn a whole new way of doing business, 
that people understand what's expected of them. Their superiors understand what's expected of them and will not be tolerated otherwise. That the females who feel like they have been the underdogs of the department and are trying to pave the way, that it's better for the rest, get that respect. And that if there's a promotion that should be, that no one has the nerve to say that if a female is promoted, it's because they were afraid of, we were afraid of a lawsuit. It's because they should have been. And at the same point, I would suggest that whoever makes up whatever the percentage is, and I know we changed it at your suggestion, that maybe there's, I understand that other cities do 10% of evaluations from their superiors. And I think that should be looked at because you don't get a promotion anywhere else where there isn't an evaluation that's seen by someone. And we readjust. Everybody knows if you want to crash somebody's career, you do it on an oral exam because a true and false or a multiple choice or test has only one answer. But I also was under the impression, and correct me if I'm wrong, that I thought when you did some of these exams that you had someone from HR that you had someone from civil service sitting there. Correct. And that it wasn't just you and your three majors. If that's not the case, then we have a problem. And uh, also, isn't it that the, the people who are voting <laughs> have to come within a certain bandwidth? Well, that part he has to explain. So I've, well, never, said, I've never seen that before if, in my life. Yes. Uh, basically, the criteria is if we uh, each category that the person is scored on have to be within two to three points of each other, or else you have to deliberate to find out why we're not on the same page with the score. Okay. Um, and, and I the, would also suggest. In the suggest... case of the last test, now, that happened. Now, why is H, it was HR and who else in that meeting? That's Civil not Civil service. Hmm? Civil service person. Okay. Why do they not have votes? Is, is that, that, a, that was taken out in, I think, 2014, where the, yeah. the, the civil service board was disabled before we got here. It was cut out, and I think it was a power thing. All right, so should we put it back in? Probably. I think we need to have as many people, especially and people who are outside the inside, being able sure. to make a vote. 100%. And, and uh, one of the... People who I spoke with just a couple of days ago said to me, well, these people who get promotions, they can't, or, or don't get promotions, they can't trust the system. And I said to him, I said, aren't you on the board? Aren't you? I was sat with two people out of the four who voted. And if they literally walk out of one of these things saying that you can't trust this when they're half of the committee and the committee has to be within that bandwidth, well, there's a big problem with those people who are sitting on that board who actually walk outside and say you can't trust it when they're on it. That's bogus to the max. Yeah. All right. So we have to make sure that we talk about uh making sure things are open and visible and all that stuff i think we need to make sure that people understand that there's four voting people on that and i spoke with two people who were telling me that people don't feel that they can trust the results and i'm like how you're on that board are you telling me that they're not supposed to trust you especially when it has to be within that band so i think we need to get more information out letting people know what the criteria is, what the voting is, and I would also ask that we get an HR person and a person uh, from the civil service. If nothing else, we consider putting them back on. I think we need people from outside the department to make sure not only that they're watching and making sure that it's right, to being responsible for making a vote to make sure it's right. Okay. I'd also like to suggest that we go back to when the Civil Service Board heard complaints from people who felt that they were unjustly denied a, a, a um, position. I would also suggest that instead of 10 people being on a promotion list, we go back to the fact that it used to be the top three. And when that was over with, a test was done again, because I will be very honest with you, when number eight and nine get promoted off of a list of 10, it tells me that F minus minus is now a standard. Nobody does that. 
I agree. I agree with that. Uh, if you're if if you have the top scorers, because w- w- if you add the written and the oral together, you have whatever a score. it is. Whatever the, the the top people should get it. You don't. This isn't like buying O rings for the space shuttle that you get the, the the lowest one. You know, this is important stuff. I mean, not that the shuttle explosion wasn't important. I can't but, believe that was your. I'm sorry, my my. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I'm just venting of the. But I, I but I, I agree heard. with you. All right, so where are we? Just an FYI, a lot of stuff you're, you're discussing right now is a union, it's in the union contract. So, what? Right, the civil I'm, service thing? Well, the, I'm sure the, it's the, not in the promotions I'm, and stuff. I'm, 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 I'm sure it's yes. not that you. We can, need to talk. I'm sure it's not that you could pick eight and nine and skip over one through the seven. Well, if it's in the yeah. contract. And if it is, that should change too. Okay. You know. it's part of the contract. All right, no, so no. All right, let's so, let's move this on. My right, stomach so, is where are we? I don't even know. Good question. We have uh, there was a recommendation. There was a motion. No, there oh. wasn't a motion. There was just a recommendation about the pay. Do you remember what it was? I don't even remember. Motion, then? I, I, I yeah, and, and the, I so the is. motion, the motion. I'll make the official motion would be a one month. Um, Reduction. He said you couldn't take complete no, pay out, right? No, he said you can't. So you right, so 70, 75% reduction in pay no. the first month, and then 25% oh, oh, okay. reduction in pay for the remaining five months of the probationary period. Okay. And then, and of course, with the diversity, in-person diversity training. Well, that will be we'll separate. separate. That's a whole separate. Thing. Oh, okay. 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 So, and... Um, and then evaluation at the end of the six month period. Right. I'll yeah. second that. Yes, agrees. I'll second that, Joe. Would would you accept that? Yes. Okay, then we can vote on it. Because if not, I would take it. Right, so, I got to open it back up to public because there's so, no motion. So, so as part of that motion, basically, it's to direct city attorney's office to draft that amendment to the employment absolute and authorize the mayor, city manager, to sign. Yeah. So absolutely. we don't have to bring it back to you again. Absolutely. Okay. If there's anybody unclear, we could explain it again. If anybody would like to come up and say anything else. That's fine. Anybody up here? Ant, your light's on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is there anybody on Zoom? Okay. Is it? Yeah, Are their hands raised? Yeah. All right. All right. Who is it? Who's the first on. one? First one is AR. A- AR. AR, are you there? Who's AR? We're about to find out. AR, can you unmute? Are they muted? All right. All right, next. MP. It goes MP? The MP. MP, many people. MP? We're trying. Next. Marty, Marty. Marty, no. Marty Slauson found his name. No. Mar- Marty, Marty, put your name down. You can speak. Uh, next. Oh, yeah. I think he spoke earlier. Is that the Yeah, he, well. He's the guy who said you're in a no-win position no right. matter what you do. Not that I paid attention. I did. So, no? Yes, yeah, so it's up to you guys. No, right? it's a different thing. It's a different it's motion. A different okay. Thing. John, are you there? I'll tear. John? Yes, yeah. How you doing, John? We hear you. Okay. So, I'm I'm just curious. Uh, what we're talking about is you're talking about suspending his pay for a month, or cut, or reducing it seventy five percent, right? And then twenty five percent over the next five months that Correct. he's on the suspension. No, 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 no. I didn't hear what he said. He said he's asking you if you're going to suspend him as well, and you have to explain why you didn't <coughs> do that if you want to explain. I just read. Yeah, we're in motion. If you want to repeat the motion? Yeah. The, the, David Tulsa City Attorney, the current motion is that the uh, salary be reduced by 75% in the first month uh, and 25% for the following five months, uh, and then a evaluation at the conclusion of the six month period. So essentially, you're still going to be paying him. Really, it, again, you're still putting yourself in a no win situation. I mean, no matter what you do, you're going to have to pay him. And at the end of this, what happens when more stuff comes out, more stuff comes out, like the mayor was saying, you're just putting yourself in a, in a, a deeper hole. I don't understand why you're talking about suspending this pay if, you, if 
if realistically you're still going to be paying him. He's not losing anything. He may be losing a couple of shekels here and there, but he also is saying that he gets it. He can take it out of time accrued. So essentially, he's not losing anything. But it's not coming. It's not going to come out of time accrued. Yeah. And and I don't disagree with you, John. But I was on the losing side, and so now I'm. I made a commitment to respect the board's <clears throat> vote and move forward. So this is this is the next thing that I could come up with. Well, but I, understand I, I, I I'm not I'm not on the board, but my suggestion would be that if you if within the first month, if if more allegations come out, he should be suspended immediately without pay. If this is the way you guys are going to go, I mean that would be the smart move, in my opinion. Thanks. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. All right, Thank so you, I'm going to ask a question because I because maybe it has to be part of this as opposed to anything else. I would request as a city manager and anybody else that if more stuff comes up, then maybe by the second month we reevaluate this if it is beyond repair. You know that's coming. I would. I would rather we, wait. We, I, think I would we, rather wait for six scared. months and be done with it. We treat those as a case by case yeah. basis. If, I, if yeah. it's outrageous, right. then right. we, right. you know. If if I might respond to that, Please. because you, as the city commission, know that you have the duty and responsibility to hire, fire, discipline the chief of police. So the issue is that if there are rumors or there's an email sent or something like that, that you know, isn't necessarily in the form of a complaint, right. which is what you've seen, then, you know, whose responsibility, you know, legally is it to bring it to you? Because the city manager isn't necessarily the gatekeeper for complaints against the chief of police. He's been acting as a gatekeeper when he receives a complaint. Then who is? So that's that's is, the question. Yeah, I but mean, correct me. Is it the chain? I, I thought if an officer has a complaint, they have to go to their sergeant. Superior. They go to the superior. But the problem is, if their superior is the chief, then it's got to come to you. Right. Correct. Should it not? But I mean, but I mean everything. In other words, everything else goes to the chief or to IA, and they handle okay. that. Okay. Like with respect to issues related to timeliness of uh, reporting text messages from. Those officers that don't necessarily. But let me let me ask you a dumb question because there was a, a complaint Never, that no came such through thing today. A dumb question. Yes. And it was from a major. Yes. And it was regarding a lieutenant and somebody else. How do you handle something like that? Well, because you're basically it's a major making a complaint about uh, what was it? Sorry, I don't even remember what it was. Sorry. The chief was about. It, it was about superior. Yeah, but it was in lieu of the two oh, also okay. that were lowering the chain of command. So why wouldn't they go to their superior? It's almost like right now everybody's going right to the city manager and I feel bad for him because he's going to get bombarded, but it's going to be like, you know what, this officer went right to the city manager. So where does it stop? I mean, we have to put some sort of, let but, them know it, 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 there's just Why would you order. not tell people that if you're rank and file, you go to a sergeant? Exactly. The sergeant if it arises to an occasion, I would assume that a sergeant can't handle, they have to take it to a lieutenant. But I would still like to see the people in charge of whomever take care mm -hmm. of the issue, unless it's so egregious mm -hmm. that it's over their, their, their skill level. And, and I would have to defer to the you know, internal affairs officers and police department as far as how they handle that. But as far as what you're dealing with and what you're seeing, you know, that's, you know, the past couple have Kale's been the gatekeeper because he gets a complaint and brings it to you because you're the only ones that can take any action or direct any action with respect to those. It's such a flaw in how all of this came about. Yeah, but isn't it strange how if there's a complaint by an officer, city manager can receive it via major. Am I correct? That, well, that's how it's happened, yes, because it might so understand. Isn't that a problem? I, I think there is a definite issue with respect to the the reporting of complaints that involve involve the chief, um, maybe involve majors, because of the fact that the chief is their supervisor. Um, but that's how the current process is set up. And I think you know the chief said he's you know he's going to look at things, and maybe that's something that he looks at to see how there is a better reporting process, how there's a better investigative process. 
if it's needed to go to an outside third party, mm -hmm. how does that get done so that the officers are confident that there's a fair and impartial investigation performed? And those are all, all things that can be accomplished. And, and Would the Civil <clears throat> Service Board help in that regard? Not currently. Not currently. But they used no, 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 no. But if we brought it back, would that help to bring complaints right straight to the Civil Service Board? That's something we can discuss. Okay. It used to be their job. All right. So everybody's clear on the motion. Right. Zoom do is we, done. Do we have a move? Right. Oh, there's one yes. more. They are. Okay. Two more. Two more. Go ahead. Who's that? Z Krem. No, he didn't. Z Z Krem. All right. I tried that the last right. time. That, is there any more? We have we have another one too. We have Rajiv Samuel. D Samuel. Rajiv. Rajiv. Can you hear us? Yes. How are you? We hear you. Say your name. Just yeah. say your name, please. Your full name. Yes, yeah, it's Rajiv Samuel, Margie resident. Just okay. says, I would suggest uh, contracting the police department to the Brown County Sheriff. That's my suggestion. What did he say? He said, go BSO. Go BSO. <laughs> All right. Is there anybody else? No? All right, call the roll. No, we have one more. Oh. We have one more. Marty Capella. Marty? Marty Capella. Marty, can you hear us? Marty? No one wants. He's not. All right. No All right. No buttons pressed. No public. Call the roll, please. Commissioner Caggiano. Yes. Commissioner Simone. No. Commissioner Serio. Yes. <clears throat> Vice Mayor Schwartz. Yes. Mayor Vizano. Yes. 